what's going on guys, my name is Toxic and welcome to uh, Redstone for Dummies where I'm going to be sh teaching you how to uh, use Redstone from the Redstone uh, current and the Redstone ore itself to making the all different items. So they, if you already don't know how to use just simple Redstone as you can see over here, just from uh, dust to a current to turning something on, then I would suggest not to watch this video because it's just going to be pretty boring for you. And just wait till the next one comes out. But this, anyway, we're gonna basically show. I'm gonna be sh showing you how to uh, use redstone. So let's get straight in. Just go to survival here. So when uh, you find redstone ore, you normally get it. Obviously, you see redstone ore, and you combine it with a iron and a diamond pickaxe. And Every time you mine redstone ore, you get between four and five redstone. So I place nine blocks here. I should get a minimum of a maximum of twin. No, sorry, maximum of forty-five redstone, and a minimum of thirty-seven, thirty-six. Sorry. So we just mine this quickly. I think anyway, if I can mass. Yeah, see there you go. We got forty-one. So let's just put this back in here. So you get between four and five every time you mine a redstone ore. You can also smelt it if you silk touch it of anything else, but you only get one redstone from that. And what you can do with redstone is obviously it's a current, and when you connect connect them, put loads together, it they connect automatically as you can see. So it connects into a grid. Now to cut that one off, they will disconnect. So if the current was going through here, from here. It would cut it off from, it would only go to there, to, to here. I put it back on, it would turn back on again. Yeah. And you can only place uh, redstone dust on a full block or an upside down half slab, an upside down stairs, and, uh, and glowstone itself. So it has to be a full block for it to go on. Okay. Then, as you can see, you can make many things with redstone. One of the main things you make with redstone is a redstone torch, which comes in useful to make. A repeater, and then with redstone, you can also make lanterns with a glowstone and dispensers. I forgot to put the bow there, but this this is a dropper. This is a dropper. Let me move that. But that's a dropper, and if you put a bow there, it'd be a dispenser. When you place the bow there, it has to be undamaged, and if it's enchanted, it doesn't affect how it works. So I'm gonna grab this torch quickly, and these two things here. So redstone current can be turned on by a lever as you can see there turns the lantern on, turns the lantern off every time I click it and with a lever it always t stays on when I click it if you use a button that's the same thing but it turns off after a couple of seconds when you click the button which lets you create um, loads of different other things to be honest with you which is quite cool and then you can also uh, use a redstone torch itself to power redstone which that's why it comes in really useful. Let's just destroy these quickly. Oh. And place these back in the chest. Okay, and then what you can do is you were using a redstone repeater, it allows you to uh, repeat the current of the redstone. As you can see, I'm going to place 15 redstone down, and a current will slowly, uh, slowly, slowly die off after the 15th block, block. As you can see, it's not connected. So this block here. If I replace this with a, re replace this with a repeater, it turns it on, and then you can change the time. Uh, change the time for the current to go through. So if I get a lever quickly, or a button actually, it will get a button. Sorry. Or destroy this redstone torch. Place on the button. As you can see, it took it gets this redstone repeater. Let's click this again. Gets the redstone repeater. It wakes a couple of seconds, and then it goes and turns on the lantern. This is how our uh, redstone is really useful. So let's get uh, straight in after this to the redstone, uh, the repeaters. I'll be one second guys. Okay guys we're back, so what we're going to do here is first of all I'm going to show you how to make a redstone clock which can vary from loads of different things, so I'll show you a few here. Place the redstone, place this, the redstone repeaters different ways. Place this down. And there's two different ways to do it, there's loads of many ways of doing this. You, all you've got to do is power it, and then you can destroy it after. That was not meant to happen. You can destroy it after, and then what I normally do is I quickly change the redstone rather than doing a, a redstone torch because that um, 
it's like hard to punch, but because redstone is classed as a full block, whenever you hover over this block, it's always going to be destroyed when, they, when you punch it, see? So that's one of the redstone repeaters. You also have uh, this one. This one, people people use this one the most just because it's uh, it's like a longer clock, and you can change the currency to it. I'd look, I can show you here. Change that. Place a redstone torch. Oh, do you see as I change the um, the time for the redstone tick? It wait, but if I change this here, it will go quicker. Try that. There we go. And it'll go really quick. Oh, oh, it doesn't work now. Wait there a second. And there you go. Yeah, and it is really quick. So there is a lot of ways of having redstone torches, which allows you to um, oh. God damn it. Which lets you do many things. If I can show you here. Okay, so there's a dropper there. It lets me place the rest of the there we go. So destroy this block. We'll put a redstone torch down, power it up. As you heard a click there. We're gonna destroy this and replace it again. As you can hear, the dropper keeps clicking because the the resin current keeps going back and forth. And when I destroy this it'll stop. You can do the same for anything else over here. Over here, sorry. You can place a dispenser. Use the same speed. You can place a piston. A second piston and a normal piston. Oh, sorry. Place it. Current has to go. You can see how I change the current here. Current has to go straight into the piston. Or what you can do is you can place a repeater. And then I can have the current come off here and it will still work for that. Or I can do this. Oh. Do this. And then I can have two pistons look at the same time. And then you can also use uh, redstone to power note blocks. So you can make uh, little beats and doorbells and other things like that, which I can show you another time. But as you can see, it changes. And normally you can just punch the block. But if you have a lot like of this, you can make a cool little beat. Or even a... Um, even a uh, doorbell song or anything like that, which I've seen people do. And as you can see, it stays in the same note. But if I change this note, it will change the note. See, the colour stays the same. But the person, the person who's placed it down, or anyone here placed it down, sorry, you have to punch it. Well, not punch it. Uh, you have to click the left trigger, obviously on console, and then uh, the right mouse button to change it. I think. I think it's the right mouse. The right mouse button uh, on the the PC, and it will change the sound. Obviously, if you didn't know that, but now you do. Uh, and this will constantly keep the same sound going throughout. Uh, the only, there's one more thing of repeaters that this should, you should really know. So if I were to have a current over here, and I were to place a redstone, a uh, redstone repeater there, and I have it come around here, like this, I'll change this again. As you can see, there's this uh, like, bit of bedrock above the repeater, because what's happening is because this is powered, and that's power two. They kind of it kind of cuts off the current. So if I destroy this block here, this redstone here, the current going is good. If I place it back again, it stops the bedrock. It stops it stops the current going through this one. It changes each time. This is because like the power is pushing through it, but because this is not going anywhere else, this is not it cannot go through a repeat of sideways. It will just block the current going through it already, which um is used to make a lot of things and other people's maps and things like that. Now I can take it back off and place it again and it's carries on doing it. So yeah, which is quite useful. I hope this helps you guys. If it did, please drop a like button down below. If you're new to my channel, check out some of my other content and subscribe if you like. If you want me to make more of this, comment down below and see if it helped, uh, tell me if it helped you or not. And I'll see you dudes in the next one. Bye for now.